here. Hello to you too, E. No one's seen you in months. Where have you been? Does no one watch the reviews? I've been in Alpha Complex. Oh. Why are you sneaking around the back of my house? Well, E. That. Is because I need to use the armory. You know what you're getting into. Yeah. I know. There she is. My pride and joy. This is what I'm talking about, man! Oh. Oh, yeah. That pack's quite a punch, but do you want the very best? Yes. A Pokeball? This is the most dangerous thing I own. Use it well. Alright. Well, a pleasure as always, E. But I've got an evil alternate version of myself to go kill. What? Like... New report, Mark U-O-F-F. -F. I have explored this complex in its entirety. It is tiny, and there are portals everywhere that open immediately unto the outside. I am beginning to seriously regret my decision to... All right, Fred, time to one-liner. How did I forget about the gun? Mark you, OFF, -F, if you can hear me, begin. Redact dead. Immediately. Oh, well, that's just. Ah, uh, what are you? Oh, that's right, weekly! And I'm already late. I suppose I may as well talk about. Back in 1948, a man by the name of George Orwell warned the world of the utter horrors awaiting them in 36 years. He had no idea. Because, while the rest of the world patted itself on its collective back for reaching the benchmark year without destroying the world, or worse, gamers everywhere wept into pools of their friends' blood. Paranoia had come. Are you sure you're not exaggerating just a little- It's called hyperbole! Suppose I should just install a system that points out all of my expressions. Stop that! Since then, paranoia has had its second, fifth, redacted, XP, and 25th anniversary editions. This review is informed primarily from paranoia XP and paranoia troubleshooters. You know, and being in an alpha complex for five months. Are we having a final showdown here or not? I'm multitasking... Some people. Paranoia was designed to be the ultimate dystopian game to explore Cold War paranoia. It drew from 1984, Brave New World, Logan's Run, TH Redacted, and many others. And it did it with a smile on its face that would freak the Joker out. I do the jokes around here. The game is in a sprawling, post-apocalyptic, subterranean arcology known as Alpha Complex. It's ruled by the incredibly powerful, omnipresent, and completely benign Artificial intelligence known simply as the computer. Approximately redacted years ago, something. Wait, did you hear something? Anyways, a mysterious event known as the reckoning occurred, and ever since the computer has been in full red scare mode. And I do mean it's looking for communists. Then remember, while you're out there risking life and limb through shot and shell, we'll be in here thinking what a sucker you are. This insane witch hunt, coupled with bureaucratic incompetence, sabotage, good old-fashioned corruption, and sleazy Redacted Night of Turbo Lit has turned Alpha Complex into a world of quintuple-crossing heartless backstabbers who know no morality beyond pure, merciless game theory. Sewers, Mark! If you don't act fast, friend computer will hear all about your hormone suppressant suppressants. I know you can hear me! Well. Pure merciless game theory and unrelenting self-destructive and completely justified suspicion. 
The computer's own suspicion means that it's ranked everyone according to trust, from infrared, represented by black, up through Roy G. Bibb and onto ultraviolet, represented by white. The infrareds, who are almost the entire population, are so heavily drugged they may as well live in Frostbite Falls. What's the headlines, George? Invasion from Moon. Hmm. So what else is new? Whereas, at the opposite end, the ultraviolets, well, hey Fred, you want to take this one? What? What do ultraviolets do? We are high programmers entrusted with the computer's own programming to monitor and update it to ensure the greatest possible efficiency. Yeah, but what do they really do? I'm afraid I don't understand the question. <sighs> Looks like I'm flying solo on this one. Ultraviolets wrap the whole system around their fingers to secure their power base and the greatest possible luxury. They are the ultimate product of the system, completely in control of it, but completely reliant upon it. Thus, Alpha Complex perpetuates. Right, Fred? Mark you, OFF, please come in. I'm getting some very strange readings. According to this, the computer thinks- Redacted. ...bodies of somnambulists. Wait. That's right. Of course, players play as troubleshooters, freshly promoted to red, in order to go out and shoot trouble, solve everyday problems in Alpha Complex, and by and large get- Redacted. ...all over the walls. Fortunately, they have five emergency clones for just such eventualities. Troubleshooters are also expected to turn in mutants and traitors to the computer. Naturally, every last troubleshooter can be described as a mutant and a traitor. <laughs> as for rules, the game uses a fairly simple D20 roll under system whereby- Greetings, citizens. This is your friend, the computer. This section has been found to be above your clearance and has been removed for public safety. Don't worry, the responsible party will be terminated. With a severed bunny head. <gasps> hey Fred, did you notice something weird there? Fred? Fred? <sighs> Fred! Cease your blithering simpleton! Hey! There's no reason to be rude! And you can at least return fire! Paranoia is notorious for getting everything wrong. Role-playing games are built on varying combinations of cooperative play, in-depth character studies, and above and beyond all else, trust between the players. Paranoia is built on spiteful backstabbing, disposable characters, and above and beyond all else, the fact that you can trust no one, least of all the other players. Everything is done wrong, everything is backwards, everything is topsy-turvy, and everything is glorious! Now, to be clear, this is the Marmite of role-playing games. The black humor, the dystopian world, the whole package is either gonna click or it's not. But if it clicks, it is so much fun. A wild ride of insane violence and glorious humor, or, for the more experienced players, a game of cats and also cat, to the death. Classically, it's played for one-shot missions because nobody walks out with enough clones to do it again. However, there are those who play it straight, toning down the insane violence so that they can take a long campaign that delves right into the very heart of Alpha Complex. And among those who do this, there are many who say it's the scariest RPG ever made. Did I mention not to trust anything you get from there? Uh, I hope this one works better. All right, Fred, this ends right here. Did your last glow not receive an education update? Don't you see what's going on here? Well, I'm no high programmer, but... I'm pretty sure you left the portal you came in through open, and now the computer's using your PDC to hack into my camera, hence all the- Redacted. No, you total ignore- Wait. Th th that's it! <sighs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to use this. I mean, it's just so embarrassing. Fire in the hole! Fire in the- <laughs> oh Friend computer. Hello, citizen. Goodbye, friend computer. Shutting down your PDC is insubordination. So find me. Oh, there you are.
Mark Patricia. You still alive, Fred? <laughs> I, I, I think so. Good. You're gonna need a lot of therapy. Remember, commies are everywhere. Anyone you know can be a communist mutant traitor. Trust no one. Fear and ignorance. Ignorance and fear. I believe in death during life. And so does everyone watching this show.